outcome of transportation projects uh, coming through North Minneapolis have been the absence of business opportunities and jobs for residents. Um, and I, I see that this guy is a technical guy and apparently not a money guy, uh, which is okay because he had a lot of good things to say. I want to challenge the elected officials because I've seen all the projects. I saw the county project, I saw Heritage Park, and I saw this one. And I live a block and a half away. So I know who's working. I don't need an empirical study. How will the outcomes be different so that we can create economic opportunities, especially for the people of color? Because right now, the Department of Transportation in their DPE program, almost 99, well, actually 95% of all the DBE dollars don't go to ethnic minority businesses. They go to white men. And let me ask this question. Okay. Tonight, <laughs> let, let me tell you what my goal is tonight. Okay. My goal tonight is for us to talk about spe specific, what are some of the considerations around the right route? Uh, and and uh, so that we can at least get that information out. <coughs> Throughout the process, some of these things that you guys are raising now are those things that must be considered and talked about in real time as well. But we cannot answer that question without you first of all making a decision, or at least be on the path to making a decision as to what is going to happen. I understand that. Okay. Right, if you want to get support, then you're probably going about it the wrong way. Get okay. the jobs, well, and you'll have a line all the way up to the that. No problem. But but what we will do tonight Hello. Is, is to make sure that we got everything answered in real time. Because there's always that question, and, and, and I'm the number one fighter when it comes to inclusion. Okay, so but we can't answer that with the technical guy that's here who's talking about and he did a great job. The, 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 okay, so so 